What follows is the story of how a Canadian deep sea robot called Ropos, short for Remotely Operated Platform for Ocean Sciences, came to be the hero of a new book for children, Ropos and the Underwater Volcano. The author, APLUW engineer, Dana Manilak. It's a book about a robot that explores an underwater volcano. Yeah, those are my kids reading it, actually. <laughs> and they got so excited about what they saw. Earth's crust cracks open and out pours red hot lava. And so I started thinking about, well, how can I share that with a few more kids? Manilang heeded the old saying that authors should write about what they know about. In her capacity as an APLUW engineer, she worked on the undersea cabled observatory that monitors the seafloor off the Pacific Northwest coast. ROV operations are a critical part of installing the, the Ocean Observatory's initiative cabled array. And one of the great parts about working with the School of Oceanography is, is they've done a wonderful job of making sure that there's plenty of video and, and images available of, of these subsea structures and life and everything that we encounter during expeditions. Manilang and illustrator Hunter Hathaway took on the challenge to find ways to excite and inspire young readers. The background, the blue, uh, deeper blue, is actual bathymetry from the sea. Hunter Hathaway worked on technical drawings depicting the cabled array. After teaming up with Manilang for the book project, he had to find ways to convert robots and volcanoes into characters kids could relate to. Ropos, the undersea robot, got a detailed facelift. One of the fun parts was to, to bring life to this character by giving him facial expressions, eyes that are uh, feel alive and moving. His next task, put a face on a sleeping volcano. I took different rock formations and kind of melded them into a composite drawing to create a face and, and drew slits for the eyes and created a nose. The thought behind this uh, drawing was to create a feel of a sleeping giant, uh, a hidden volcano within the seafloor underneath. For the text, Manilang chose to write in rhyming couplets to help young readers focus. There's real science vocabulary in here. It talks about tectonic plates and hydrothermal vents, and by using rhyming, it, um, it gives some tools to help sound out some of those big words. Now here's a fact not all may know. Deep under the water there are volcanoes. That's why we're here to discover the fate of a volcano that sits between tectonic plates. Ropos is an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle. At a local book signing, Dana Manilang and Hunter Hathaway found an enthusiastic reception for Ropos and the Underwater Volcano. Well, we all love robots, right? <laughs> Who doesn't love robots? I mean, when you put robots and underwater volcanoes together, I don't think there's anything that can match it. Beyond the fun stuff, Manilang hopes her young readers will learn some things and want to know a lot more. I, I hope they come away with an understanding of some of the science and some of the technology that helps us to, to drive the science forward and, and to answer underlying questions like how much of, of the processes on our planet are happening in the ocean, the volcanoes, the, the amount of plants in the water, um, you know, the, the ocean's responsible for most of the oxygen in the, in the very air that we breathe. Questions for Young Minds posed by Ropos and the Underwater Volcano. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.